Hello everyone and welcome to the Little Blue Fly. I know it's been a moment since I have posted up and you know just a little life update. We've um, London and I you know we caught that ick again. I don't need to say the name and um, we're slow to mend but you know every day we are getting um, just a little bit more better. So uh, Riley's doing good. The healing is um, coming right along. Um, hopefully she has had her last surgery for quite some time. And today I just would like to share with you all um, how I age this metal ribbon from Hobby Lobby. It can be purchased um, many different uh, places but this particular one was purchased from Hobby Lobby and I cannot tell you how many messages and emails I get on how to do this and I always place it in a decorating video and I decided you know what it really just needs to have a video of its own so I can just give um, you know just hey here it is right here so that being said, let's begin, shall we? Okay, so here we have this metal ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I believe it sells for $5.99. And I um, normally purchase it when it's 50% off. And I'm going to use some rub and buff. I also use um, another acrylic paint, but for today, we're go going to go ahead and use Rub and Buff. And I thought to, so I'm sitting out here on my back patio when the birds are chirping and we have nice cool weather. Um, and it's just my speed for right now, trying to get better. But I tried to play some of this Rub and Buff on the tissue and as you can see it just it's not working it, it's not doing the job correctly at all and it's just real weak and I want it just a little bit darker I need to well I decided to put the cap on and you know really mix it up now I'm just I'm simply going to use my fingers it doesn't it just seems right this way. It was a little bit awkward working with the tissue. One could um, use a brush as well, which I will be sharing later on in the video. So I'm just giving it a good rub on. And just one time, I'm. that's all it took, was just to go over it one time. Normally, if I use an acrylic paint, it does take me a couple times. So rub and buff is definitely um, the way to go if you are wanting to take a shortcut. Now see, I'm trying on the back to use my thumb, but this it's like um it's embossed, right? So it goes kind of deep on the back side. So a brush is really needed to get into the grooves on the back. Very messy. Make sure you wear gloves. And that's your outside because this rub and buff is a very strong, um, has a very strong scent to it. So I'm just going to squeeze it out here um, on my, it's actually, a, I'm working on a trash bag here. <laughs> but it's perfect because things don't leak through, right? And I'm just going to take the brush and just really, not so much stroke back and forth, but I go in circles and I do more dabbing because again, um, it is embossed, so it it goes down, and you really want to try to cover up as much um, of the silver as you can. 
So this is just one go through. I'm very pleased. Again, rub and buff is great. Now for this whole ribbon, because um, this is the this is the complete roll, I used almost a full tube of rub and buff. So now I have all the gold on. And you can see, you know, a few silver pieces here and there throughout the ribbon, and but that's okay. But it's all painted, it has dried, and now we are going to start aging things. I love working with this metal ribbon because you can shape it any way your heart desires, and it's just different right it's different from using the velvets or the silks and it just adds some more depth and visual interest and just brings life into whatever project you add it onto into okay this is the folk art home decor wax here's the number three four one seven one antique wax and i purchased this from michael's but one could go online and, you know, just do a search for this wax. And it's my go-to. I use it on several different things, not just this metal ribbon, but I put it on wood. I add it on to my faux berries to cover up the white foam. Now we're going to use a brush, always a brush, when working with the wax. And again, it's just um, on the front part of this ribbon, because it's raised, I can just pretty much, you know, dab a little bit and then brush. And then you want to make sure to go directly to the back because the wax it just pushes its way through and you don't want um, those unwanted blobs. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. Um, just an over accumulation of wax um, on this ribbon because it just doesn't look too appealing, right? So go front, back, front, back, and then with the tissue, I just dab it. And look at the difference between the gold and then aging. So make sure when you are putting the glaze on that you hold the ribbon top at the top and the bottom. You don't want to touch, you know, the the ribbon itself because then it it you can smudge it and it just, it doesn't look good. So again, make sure that you hold the top and the bottom of the ribbon when you do this process. And work the front. And then make sure to go to the back afterwards. Always holding the top and the bottom. And with the glaze, there is just one application that is needed. And again, this glaze, if you have um, a wood project that you're working with and you paint it and you want to age it, you can use a large brush and apply this wax and it works beautifully. As you can see, it starts to gather and, you know, just accumulate too much in one area so you want to make sure to go back and forth then I go to the other side and just start dabbing and again making sure at all times to hold the top and the bottom and I'm very pleased with just this coverage of one application of the rub and buff and one of the wax.
just offers such a nice French country, old world feel to anything it is placed in. Now this ribbon, because the next video, I've been working on it slowly as my health permits, but the fall tree is coming this weekend. And this ribbon will be in that tree. So here we, again, we have the original ribbon, $5.99. And they keep this where the bridal area is at, not where all the fabrics are at. Then I use the rub and buff. And after I applied the wax. Now what we're going to do is lock in the rub and buff and the wax by using polycrylic. I use this on my furniture as well. And it is the semi-gloss. This can be purchased at Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, online. And you apply it with a brush. Now with this process, you want to make sure that you don't um, apply too much at one time because then it's going to get very white and milky and you do not want that. If it's white and milky, do your best to remove that because it will dry that way and you don't want that. But it just gives it a very, uh, you know, a nice shine and a good protective coat. So again, I will be using this ribbon in the next video that will be um, the fall tree. And thank you so much for all of your patience. If you have not subscribed or followed me over on Facebook or Instagram, I invite you to do so today. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up.